let us see how to download our products on various formats for websites built on platforms like Shopify or WooCommerce and for listing our products on Amazon. If you have taken our website plan and selling products only through that portal, then this video section may not be required for you unless you have a specific need. This video helps you to export products if you are selling on Amazon or on your own website built on platforms like Shopify, WooCommerce, OpenCart or if you have a built website from any other portal like Magento or even custom built ones. So what you have to do is like once you logged into your account, you have to click on this mod export tool. So once you click on it, it will take you to this particular page. So this is the mod export tool. So let's say you want to download a category of products. You'll be finding the menu in the left hand side, vertical menu. So click on by category. It will take you to this particular page. So these are basically self-explanatory. Let me uh, give an explanation though. So first you have to select what category of products you want to download. If you want to download all the products, if you want to list and sell all the products that we provide you in your website, in your portal, you have to click the option as all categories. So just for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to select uh, any one particular category. I'm going to select uh, Sarius. And the other options that you see here, products with white background photos. So basically, if you're selling a products on marketplaces like Amazon, they will prefer you to upload products with uh, white background photos only. But since we support all types of seller who sell on their own website or on WhatsApp or on marketplaces, we provide both products with uh, white background images and uh, product with colored images. So if you're selling on Amazon, you have to strictly select this option. If you select this, what will happen is only the products with the white background images will be downloaded. Other products will be ignored. It won't be downloaded. So you don't have to manually verify for the sake of Amazon. You just need to select this button once. And let's say you don't want to select the out of stock products. So if you're listing the products for the first time or you just want to uh, download and uh, list only the in stock product, then you have to select this option. Or in some cases, what will happen is so some uh, some people would like to download only the out of stock product so maybe uh, they've already uh, downloaded products and they want to sync again they just want to sync what will happen is in that case you have to select only this option next filter option is to select the date if you have recently joined us and exporting the products for the first time or if you are not sure if you have right stocks uploaded on your portal in such cases select the lifetime date, date option this will download all the products based on your above selected filter criteria the other option is to select the custom date once you exported the products using lifetime option and uploaded on your portal from the next day you should export and upload the stocks on your portal daily once using the custom date selecting the previous day's date. It will take you just two minutes every day, but, but your portal will be updated with the right stock quantities. And next step is uh, set your price. So it's like you want to download the wholesale price of the each product for all the products. You just need to select this option. What this will do is like it will download all our products at wholesale cost. Or let's say like you want to add margin and then you have to download. So if you select this option, text box will be loaded. Here let's say like you want to uh, download products at a 30% uh, markup margin. That is like if you are giving you the products at 100 rupees, when you uh, select this option and enter 30, once you download the product, it will be downloaded as 130 rupees. Just to make the work easier for you, we have given you this feature. So you can enter any number you want. If you have entered as a 50, 50% 50 markup uh, will happen. And the final option is where you have to select the format of your down, uh, of the sheet. So for example, if you are going to list the products on Shopify, just select Shopify. Or you want to list a product on uh, OpenCart 2, OpenCart 3, WooCommerce, select any of the relevant option. 
or let's say you are listing on some other platform in which we are not directly supporting let's say like uh, magento so for magento or for any other formats that we don't uh, provide right you have to select this csv for any other platforms option so what will happen is the products will be downloaded in a basic csv format and based on the pla platform that you are uploading the products on you can make little modifications and upload so now uh, for the sake of simplicity let me uh, select shopify once all these options are uh, selected make sure uh, it's all right according to your requirement and click on export now so once you click on that it will uh, tell you request submitted please check the download request section which is actually this section export download status from the left side amino you need to click on it and here you can uh, see that the uh, sheet is already ready for downloading so when you click on it it will ask you to save the uh, file locally so you can select the folder and you can uh, save it and then when you go to shopify you can use the same uh, sheet to upload on your shopify store so now it's downloaded uh, very quickly because i have selected less number of products i have selected only uh, saris so if you want to download all the products or depends on the number of uh, products you have selected number of categories you have selected so the download uh, time uh, may take little more you just need to uh, come to this particular export slash download status page to check whether if your download is ready now we have seen how to uh, download the uh, products uh, on category basis so now let's say how to download the products on product basis you only want to download very few products so you have to click buy products on the left side menu so here you will see all the products that we have so in this particular section what you will do is you won't directly export you will before exporting you will add the products to your bag so these two products are already there in the bag let me say i want to uh, remove this product i'm clicking on uh, remove from my bag and that particular product has been removed from the bag so let's say i want to add this product add to my bag you just need to click once so now it is successfully added to your bag so now you go to my bag products there you can see the list of products that you have added so if you want to remove any certain products from uh, this page here also you can do directly from the uh, bag products page also you can remove the products that you don't want so now if you have decided that you want to download all the products uh, which is in your bag which is your which you have added you have to click on this button export all products from my bag as we have seen various filter options when downloading products via by category page you will see the same filter options here too so now uh, let's say like you have uh, added the products that you like in your bag but once you're downloading you do not know whether the product is already out of stock or whether they are in stock so you can uh, use these options as i uh, told you already by selecting this option it will exclude all the out of stock products by selecting this option it will exclude all the in stock products and uh, this uh, date has the same meaning as i have explained earlier so now you have to select the price if you want to download the products at the wholesale cost you just need to select this option if you want to download the products at a uh, retail cost you have to select this option enter whatever margin you have to uh, you want the product to be downloaded at and select the uh, format shopify open cart woocommerce csv for any other platforms as i uh, mentioned earlier and here you will also see for my website built by bob store so if you have taken our gold plan diamond plan and if you tell us like uh, don't upload all the products in my uh, website i want to upload only the certain products that i will select myself if you are in such a position you can select the products in this option and you can select this particular option if you are using the website built by us for my website built by box store click on submit so it will directly take you to the export page like uh, how after you selecting the products on the uh, by category and then uh, you went to the uh, export download status page 
even if you are going to select the products one by one by selecting the buy products uh, menu page and uh, after selecting you have to come to the same export uh, download status page here you will see see for this particular selection the file is still not ready so that's why you don't see any option in processed time or in the download uh, field the view selected uh, criteria so what does it mean is let's say like uh, your you have selected the options and then uh, your file is ready to be downloaded so if you forgot what options you have selected when you click on view selected uh, criteria it will show you what are all the options you have selected so now you can see i just refreshed you can see that products are ready to be downloaded so this is how you download the select and download the products for the formats like uh, woocommerce open cart shopify and csv formats now let's say you are selling the products on amazon and you want to download the products for the amazon purpose only you have to click on export amazon format button from the left hand uh, menu bar side so let's say you want to download the uh, stock sheets you need to click on download amazon format sheet once you clicked on it it will take you to the google drive uh, page where we have all the products listed for amazon so just to make your work easier along with the uh, batch number we have also given you the category name so let's say you want to download this particular category you just need to click on this download button or go inside so you will uh, find two batch two uh, formatted sheets for uh, every batch and one is like a retail uh, margin so if you want to list the products directly on your amazon without uh, editing the sheets on your own you just need to download the retail formatted sheets by default we have given the 50% margin here or if you want to set your own own margin you need to select the uh, wholesale price sheet this one download it and uh, change the price according to whatever you want and go upload on your amazon account so this is how it works for amazon and let's say like you already am, uh, updated all the uh, products on amazon or only the products that you want you upload uh, updated in amazon account now you want to update this stock sheet on a daily basis so you just need to click on this so here to make your work easier we have given the stock sheet and instructions also So that's how folks that's how uh, you will download the uh, products for various uh, formats but again let me remind you if you have taken our gold or diamond uh, plan you don't need to uh, do these steps all these things will be taken care by us this is specifically for the bronze plan members who are selling the products on shopify woocommerce open cart or on amazon so if you are gold and diamond plan member and if you are using our website the website that we built for you to sell the products to your customers you don't have to do this unless or uh, specifically you want to do it.